City Clinic. I am your doctor for this evening, Dr. Brain. Pleasure to meet you. Yes. Has a nurse already seen you today? Good. Well, let me look at your chart here, okay? What was your name again? Beautiful name. So, it appears you're here for the cranial nerve exam, but you must close your eyes, correct? Good. Let's start off by closing your eyes right now. I see you haven't had gotten the best sleep in the past couple of weeks, so let's make sure that we get you ready now. So please close your eyes and absolutely no opening your eyes, no taking a peek, none of that. Keep your eyes closed, otherwise we will have to redo this exam early in the morning, okay? So close your eyes, pinky promise. Very good. So what I'm gonna do is a cranial nerve exam with sets of exams to test your intuition, to test all 12 cranial nerves and to help you fall asleep. Let's begin. I'm gonna first start off by turning off the light, though you wouldn't see that because your eyes are closed, okay? And using just with your eyes closed, let me know the moment when the light flashes in front of your eyes, okay? So I'll ask you yes or no, and you let me know yes or no. Here we go. Yes or no? Good. Yes or no? Good. Yes or no? Good. Yes or no? Good. A little bit closer now. Okay. Yes or no? Good. Yes or no? Good. Keep your eyes closed. Yes or no? Good. And yes or no? Good. Now I'm gonna get the light really close to your eyes. Keep your eyes as closed as possible, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna carefully put a little bit of pressure right onto your eyes, okay? So, just sit still. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure, okay? And do you feel that yes or no? Yes, good. Okay. And do you feel that yes or no? Yes. Very good. Okay, let me know one more time. Is the light in front of your face now, yes or no? Good, and what about now, yes or no? Good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little bit more up close to you, okay? The lights are all off in this room, okay? If you can remember what color was the wall that was behind me when we began this exam, you can take any guess, no answer is incorrect. I'm just testing your cranial nerves for memory. Let me know in three, two, and one. If you guessed blue, you would be correct. Very good. Now, I'm going to test your intuition. Keeping your eyes closed, I have this lightsaber that changes colors. All I want you to do is let me know what color do you think is in front of your eyes. I'll give you two options. Yes or no, guess which one it is. Okay. Now, I have a light in front of your eyes, keeping your eyes closed, no taking a peek. Is this red or is it blue? Red or blue? Red or blue? Let me know in three, two, and one. If you guessed red, you'd be correct. Very good. Now, what about now? Is the lightsaber red or blue? Red or blue? Red or blue, keep your eyes closed. Good, if you guessed blue, you would be correct. Very good. Is the lightsaber yellow or green? Yellow or green? Yellow or green? Let me know in three, two, and one. If you guessed green, you'd be correct. Very good. And what color is the lightsaber now? Is it yellow or pink? Yellow or pink? Yellow or pink? Let me know in three, two, and one. Very good, it is pink, good. And last one, what color is the lightsaber now? Is it orange or yellow? Orange or yellow? Orange or yellow? Let me know in three, two, and one. If you guessed orange, you would be correct. Very good. You 
just completed the I light portion of the exam. I am very proud of you. Good job. Now what we're going to test is a bit of intuition tests with some cards that I have, okay? I have three cards in front of me and there are different items on each card. This is also going to test your memory, okay? I'll tell you what each of these three cards are and I'm going to shuffle the cards up. You take a guess which came first out of the three items, okay? So, the cards that we have are a heart, a tooth, and a fish. We have a heart, a tooth, and a fish. Okay, I'm going to shuffle the cards up now. Keep your eyes closed. Okay, keeping your eyes closed, which card came first? The heart, the tooth, or the fish? Take a guess in three, two, and one. If you guessed heart, you were correct. Very good. Now, what is the second card that I just pulled? Is it the tooth or the fish? The tooth or the fish? Let me know in three. Two and one. It is the fish. Very good. Now using your memory, what item is the last card that is left? Take a guess in three, two, and one. That is a tooth. Very good. So your memory appears to be very good. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to ask you some questions now. What time do you think it is? Okay. And how has your sleep been the past two weeks, I would say? Okay. And how many hours of sleep do you think you're getting? Okay. Okay. For this next part, I'm going to ask you to just give me your hand. I'm going to put a little heart rate monitor onto your finger, and we're going to see which sounds and which types of medical things make you feel more relaxed, okay? So just give me your hand. I'm just going to apply that right to your finger, okay? And just relax. We're going to keep it there for the rest of the exam. Good. What I'm going to test now is your ears, okay? You let me know if the sound is coming from the left ear or the right ear. Are you ready to begin? Very good. Keeping your eyes closed. No taking a look. Let me know if the sound is coming from your left ear or your right ear. Are you ready? Let's begin. Was that your left or your right ear? Very good. That was your left ear. Good. Keep listening. Where is the sound coming from, your left or your right ear? Where did the sound come from, the left or the right ear? Very good, it again came from the left ear. was 
you are thinking floral, like a spa, like an herbal spa, maybe a tea. Good. And is it kind of a sweet smell or more earthy? Sweet. Very good. And what do you guess that is? Perfect. This one is a flower. It is lavender. Good job. Okay. Let's continue. Now this one is one of my personal favorites. Oh, amazing. Now, take a guess what this one is. Keep your eyes closed. I'm watching you. Okay, and this one is citrus. You got that right away. What do you think? Very good. It is orange. This one you got with no problem. This one's magnificent. Keep your eyes closed. It's a bit more difficult, so I know you may want to open your eyes. What essential oil do you think this one is? I can see you questioning it. Herbal, like a tea. Very similar to maybe a, yes, like a sleeping aid. Maybe like a room spray. It's very often used in that. Take a guess, it's floral. Very good, this one is chamomile. But I'll take floral, you did very good. Again, these get a little bit more difficult. We're on to the last one now. I love this one. So, keep your eyes closed. This one smells a bit like, yes, very good, kind of like citrus, but not too much. And a bit like earthy, yes, maybe like, yeah, some sort of something you can eat, maybe a tea, any guess? I'll take any guess you got here. Any sort of citrus, very good. This one is vetiver. It smells almost as if it's lemon and tea tree oil. It's actually a pretty good mix. It's used really well for a room automizer. Now we're gonna give you a taste test. Okay. So, what I have here is a taste test tube. This is either sweet or spicy. Okay. And you have to let me know what you think it is. Sweet or spicy. Keep your eyes closed because the bottle could let you know what it could be. Okay. So, is it sweet or spicy? And say, ah. Very good. And then just do this and taste. Very good. And I can tell very clearly that this one is spicy. Very good. That one is an extract of cayenne pepper. So that is what we always like to test to make sure your cranial nerves are working well with your brain. Keep 
keep your eyes closed. Don't take a look. Let me know in three, two, and one. Okay, if you guess that the Snell Instrument had a light on it, you were very correct. Good job. Now, I'm going to test your musculature and your muscle fixtures and movements. I'll tell you what to do, and then I'll let you know. Keeping your eyes closed. What I want you to do is raise your eyebrows super dull, as if you were shocked, okay? I'm gonna put my hands right on your face if that's okay with you. Good. So, raise your eyebrows for three, two, and one. Good. And relax them. Now, can you furrow your brow as if you were very angry? Please do that for three, two, and one. Very good. Relax. Now, can you close your eyes even more tight than when I asked you just to close them normally? I'm going to try to open them and I want you to resist, okay? Very good. And resist, 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 resist. Good, and relax. Keep your eyes closed. Now give me a very cartoon smile. Good. I'm going to put my hands right on the side of your cheeks, okay? Okay, relax. Good. Good. Now you can relax a smile. Then give me a very sad frown. Okay. And relax. Good. 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 Now, I'm going to put my hands on your shoulders if that's okay with you. Good. And I'm going to ask you to raise your shoulders, but I'm going to push down on them. I want you to resist me pushing down on your shoulders, okay? Good. So, raise your shoulders. Resist. 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 Very good. Relax. Follow my instructions. Good. Now, I want you to recall the number I told you to recall from the beginning. Do you remember what number that was? Very good. The number was three. Two, one, it was 11. And now, onto your final exam, keeping your eyes closed. It is crucial for this exam. We're gonna do a soft and sharp test. What I'm gonna ask you is, is the object touching you with the soft side? It's like a little cotton ball. Or is it touching you with the sharp side? Keep your eyes closed. Are you ready? Let's begin.
a nurse will come right back into this room and finish up the rest of the exam, but keep your eyes closed until then. Thank you for not taking a peek and taking a look, but be honest if you did. We have to restart this exam from the beginning, okay? Very good. Just relax, and I'll check your results, and I'll let you know by the morning time when we redo this exam, unless we have to redo it again because you opened your eyes, you pinky promised, okay? So, have a good rest of your night, or we're going to redo this exam right from the beginning.